You wanna be at the top? Inshallah. Are we the cream of the crop? Inshallah. You gotta rock till you drop. Inshallah. Cause believers never stop. Yeah. Mashallah. Come on. Shalom, I am here. This is Abdul Malik on DTV. I'm here with a very special guest. Your name? Rabbi Yisrael from the Vice. To the Catholic Jews of Zionism. Okay, wow. So, you know, as, uh, as a Muslim, we are... We must respect people from all walks of life, particularly what we call the people of Book Ahlul Kitab, which is uh, of the Jewish people and the Christian people. So we're very happy to have you. I've always wondered, you know, because you've come, you, I think, and your organization have come to a lot of conventions. So how's it like, you know, dealing with a bunch of Muslims? <laughs> The first the short answer is yeah. thank God for yeah. giving lots of oh. time for very good to hear us. Everybody's extremely exceptionally warm, friendly, and embracing. And I think a lot of people have to make, make sure and conserve that we feel comfortable with thank God. And um, but for me, this is not a, this is a surprise because. With the help of the Almighty, we our history. I, uh, for anybody who, for anybody from the Middle Eastern world or from any of the Arab or Muslim countries know that we have been coexisting for all the hundreds and hundreds of years together and Jews have been uh, residing in Muslim countries right, throughout right. history and, uh, and with God's help, and like I always pray to God to give me the right words, uh, God should help. The, the, the fact is that we have a, a, a definitely a distinctly different uh, religions. We, we serve, we all believe in one God and we That's serve, right. but that was never an impediment mm -hmm. for coexistence. Jews have been living in these countries and flourishing right. as distinctly religious Jews amongst religious Muslims. And right. it was never uh, a, a, a cause, the difference of religion, that we should not coexist. So for us who follow the religion and we follow our history, yeah. We know that th th this fact that unfortunately the world today doesn't yeah. know this. They think that, oh, well, you know, how could that be? Nobody questions, like you're coming, you're from England. How do you get along with the English? You're Jewish. <laughs> how do you do it? Nobody says that. Right, right. right. Well, well, we can say that the, 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 the Jews um, in Europe, and I don't want to get into that, but they went through a lot uh, They went trouble. through some rough times. Right. Yes, and yes, it was we the know. Crusades, the Inquisition, and where did the Jews go? They went to Muslim countries. That's true. And they opened the doors, they embraced them, and provided a the safe The Golden Age. Well, for the, from what, from what I understand, right. the, from in the Jewish uh, tradition, it was right. in. Right. Well, it was at the time of the um, of the Inquisition. Afterwards, they went and they right. went. Um, and again, they, they, they flourished and really as uh, Jews and the, our greatest leaders came from the, uh, from the Muslim countries. Wow. We have, we still follow, I don't know if people in America most probably know of hospitals called Maimonides Hospital or maybe. Yeah. Um, and, and Maimonides was the Rambam, was one of our greatest leaders and he was in Egypt, a uh, codifier of Jewish law, a doctor, a physician, a very, very holy man uh, and, and our leaders and he was in Egypt. Yeah. And so far, I could go on, my wife's great-grandfather, I'm 14 generations ago, yeah. he's buried in Turkey with Naftali Katz of blessed memory, one of the leaders of Judaism. And um, I could go on and on, very the great leaders. And in, as a general rule, that's that the way it was. Yeah. Of course, there's always bumps in the road, one can't right. say, because this, that's the way it happens. That's human beings, we're right. human beings, yes. But, so. um, but, uh, but the fact is that we knew that we could flourish and looking at a Muslim country, we didn't say, oh wow, how will we be able to exist there? Yeah. And you know what, it's, it's very interesting because in a Muslim country, somebody once asked me, uh, by a conference, uh, there was a panel, and there was a Christian. There was a, I was there, and there was a Muslim, and they said, "How would you like um, eventually Palestine? I wonder what rule it should be." And I, uh, and so the Christian said it should be a democratic country, and I said, "Whatever the Palestinian people want, that's what our belief is that it should be under Palestinian rule. Whatever rule we don't want, because as Jews we're not allowed to have our own sovereignty. That's one of the reasons we, besides, we're not allowed to um, occupy other people and take their land, but we're not allowed to have our own sovereignty since the destruction of the." Right, so right. I said, so whatever the Palestinian people wants, that's great. And 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 on, on the contrary, if you ask us, the when it was under the Muslim rule, they they had more issues of morality that was so close to us right, about right. dressing dressing modestly and um, so many more things. And I went to Yemen. 
Yeah. I can tell you such interesting. Like we went to, I went to, um, thank God, to Muslim countries. So, um, so I you've was, been in Yemen, huh? Yeah. Um, and we, I, because I traveled, there was Jewish communities there. Yeah. They, Jews lived in Yemen for two thousand years. Two thousand years. Right. Wow. And um, and uh, I went to visit because they were closed off from the world, pretty much because because of the difference between West. Yemen didn't want to deal with the United States. I'm talking about like over twenty years ago now. Right. 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 And they and and the Jewish community was closed off over there and they didn't want to do with the uh, state of Israel, Zionist, so that we went, we were able to get in because we're not Zionists, we're against Zionism, so they let us in. And we would go every year, we'd send rabbis to visit the communities. Right. And they had a tribal war while we were there, while wow. I was there. Oh my goodness. And um, so we would, and the way it's like, you know, it's not like here in New York, I mean here in the United States, in right. Chicago, you know, it's like in the hills in the back, you know, you go, you have to have a four by four truck to get, to get around. To get around in Yemen, right? And we're right? going up there and everybody carries their, I think it's the Going, they're, they're, they're like knives and yeah, everybody the little, has guns. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know that. And, uh, um, and every and everybody had guns and kids. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's like and, that. And, and so it's and we so we were going on these roads and there were roadblocks, garbage cans in the middle of the road. They stop you and they look in the car. Oh, Yahud, a Jew, go through, go through. <laughs> no problem. A Jew is able. They were to, very nice. And we huh? go to visit the communities and we go into these houses. It's not like these houses. It's, yeah. You have to really picture it. Yeah, but yeah. it's very beautiful. And we go in, and the neighbors, all the Arab neighbors, you know, a visitor from somewhere, you know, comes in and says, "So even though it's a Jewish house, they all just marched in, sat down. And it was, it's like one family." Wow. And that, we saw this in Yemen. We saw this. Um, well, I was in, in other countries, thank God, and in Morocco we have that. But even in other countries, where people would say, "Well, that can't be." In Lebanon, I went to visit. We had a very old Jewish communities there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and uh, other issue is we went also to visit and we noticed that in all the Muslim countries, let's say in Iran, we went to Iran and 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 uh, in every country it was like this, mm -hmm. where they have a lot of prophets buried there. Yes. And yet yes. Um, in Lebanon also, but other where they, wherever, wherever they have a, this Jewish prophets lived at those times. We're talking about uh, two th over two thousand years ago, and. Um, and the way they their their uh, their monuments their their is treated is yeah. with the greatest respect. This right. people in 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 they have in Shush in uh, Daniel the prophet Daniel. Prophet uh, Daniel, went, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Mordechai and Esther in, in Iran and Hamadan. You have so that, you have to see the pictures how they they have tapestry over it and beautiful. So they have decorated it and made uh, it really they, nice. They, they yeah, with the greatest so, respect. Let me ask you this: How do you deal with? And, and we have to wrap up after this, but. Um, how do you deal with uh, like kosher if you go to different places here? Um, I just had a, a kosher sandwich just yesterday right. because in our religion, you know, the food yeah. of the, the Jews and the Christians right. are acceptable right. for us. So um, how do you deal with like you that? You know, it's great you brought it up because <laughs> I'm going to use the Dean Show for one thing. To, be, to plead with the airlines that somebody who has to have special dietary should be able to get an extra suitcase free because we have to take well they give you 50 pounds oh, once, and we have right. to take we are every time we have to take along we bring along our food yeah. because you know fruits and vegetables is not a problem right. but you know we have to have special food Sabbath and this and that yeah. so so it's a, it's it's it, it is a problem. it's a problem but, we, but thank God this everything is a uh, you know you can go through hurdles so we bring along food and if that you can we can always okay. uh, because kosher means, as I'm sure you know, like halal, that you have it has to be super. It doesn't mean it's blessed. It means it's supervised. Um, that um, well, I'm, well, I'm not talking about the slaughter. No, no, you're slaughter right. is there's a blessing, but I'm not talking. I I'm know talking what you mean. That, that it should be that it should not be. It's the food has to be not rendered unkosher. In other right. words, that there was no pig or other products that are not kosher. Yes. Or there's a lot of additives, additives, um, uh, um, uh, preservatives that could be non-kosher added in the food. So you have to have it supervised from the beginning when it grows from the ground. When it grows from the ground, it's still kosher. Right, right, right. right. And then so that's what the kosher is. That has to be supervised. Right. Right. So, um, you know, so there's wow. these things. So that's, so, that's good. Yeah. Well, hopefully that, you know, next, you know, anytime you guys come, you're, you're welcome uh, at, at these conventions. And we hope that, you know, we continue to try to forge bridges in our communities and uh, call for peace around the world. And I yeah. think that's something very important. It was there in the past. It will be there in the future. Self, Thank you, uh, yeah. Rabbi, for, uh, for being on uh, so Dean TV. Yeah. And you. shalom. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief, working together for a better world, and by Recycle Processing Incorporated.